Hello, this is Alejandro Duarte from Vadin and in this video I'm going to answer this question which is about how to upload a file and how to process it in a background thread while keeping the user informed about the progress. Um, so let's get started. Here I have a very simple Spring uh, application that has a processing service that's going to run a background thread and uh, in the init method I have a, an empty vertical layout. So, uh, what I need for this uh, example application is uh, an upload component and also a progress bar. This is Vadin Framework 8, by the way. Now, in the init method, we can use this, we can, well, configure these uh, components. So, first, I need new instances. Uh, in the case of the upload, it receives a caption. So, for example, upload a file and our receiver. So, let's say this is our receiver. For that, I need to implement that interface and that method. So, this is the interface and this is the method. Uh, this is going to be called when the um, user uploads actually a new file. Um, what else do we need here? The progress bar as well. So let's create a new instance. And initially, initially, I don't want the uh, progress bar to be visible. So let's uh, set this to false. And um, maybe we can uh, uh, configure this to, to be indeterminate. That is, um, instead of the, a bar, or it's going to be rendered is uh, like a spinner there, all right? So, in determinate true. Um, we can also set a caption. This is uploading, maybe like that. But remember, it's not visible at the very beginning. And of course, I need to add these two guys here, upload and progress bar. Cool. Now let's implement the actual uh, logic or the behavior. So when we get a new file, we need to uh, return here in this method and now put stream. And uh, since I'm using Spring, I can use the uh, let's use the uh, fast byte array output stream. Let's assign this to a new field. Let's call it uh, output stream. Of course, we need to return this. So I just created here, where is it? And I'll put stream um, class member. Good. Uh, so at this point, we should be able to retrieve the contents of the, of the file through this uh, output stream. But for that, we need to configure something more here. We need to add a succeeded listener. And again, let's say this class is one of those. So let's uh, implement that listener, that interface, sorry, and that um, method. And uh, well, here, once the uh, file is uh, uploaded, we want to, first of all, we want to hide this uh, upload, right? Set visible, false. And uh, secondly, now we want to process that um, that file. So for the progress bar, let's set first a caption like uh, processing or something. And uh, for, uh, for this, we are going to use this service here. Uh, oh, this is really bad, for processing. Uh, processing service that process data and again we get it from this uh, output stream so output stream the two string that should be enough now uh, this is going to run a background thread we'll see that in a minute but what else do we need to do with this progress bar so this time at this point we are actually interested in showing the bar and show uh, with the um, percentage of the data that has been processed. So this should be false now. Uh, we need some way of setting the value of this progress bar. So let's go inside this uh, process data 
method here. This is just a service uh, class and it contains the uh, process data method that's going to run a separate thread. So I'm using here the uh, async annotation. This means that, that, that Spring is going to create a, a thread and run this inside that thread. Um, so it's asynchronous. When we call it, it uh, the, the, in the UI part, it won't wait until this is done. It will continue. So uh, right now there is no way to add kind of, uh, or to let the UI know uh, about the percentage that has been processed. So for that, we need to add something to the, um, to the um, method. We need to accept kind of a listener for this uh, uh, method. Now, uh, you may want to, if it is existing and you want to break the, the API, for example, or the interface, you can uh, overload this method and add the listeners for those uh, calls that, that need uh, to update uh, something. And uh, well, we can use the, uh, for, for this example, the consumer uh, interface and this is going to report a float, which is the percentage. But we would like to also know when the process is done. So let's use, in this case, a runnable. And uh, uh, I forgot the name here. This is going to be the, uh, uh, how can we call this? Like uh, process uh, or progress listener. And this is going to be the um, uh, su success, or how can we call this? Succeeded, maybe, succeeded listener, All right? Uh, I'm using these uh, consumer and runnable interfaces because, well, they are there, but you can create uh, your own interfaces. That would be actually better. But let, let's keep it simple for this example. Also, if you create your own interfaces, uh, you may want to uh, make sure that they uh, extend um, serializable so, so that you can persist uh, uh, the session in mostly in um, distributed um, architectures. Well, so uh, this this uh, method is just it, it just simulates uh, uh, twenty steps in this case. And it doesn't doesn't do anything, but of course you will uh, perform any uh, task you want to do with the data, which is coming as a string in this example. But at each step, I want to inform the UI that we are done with a certain amount of uh, of data. So it's pretty simple. We already have here the the presentation, and uh, all we have to do is well just notify the. Uh, um, the listener, so accept and this value, that's it. And at the very end of the process, when this is done, then we need to call the, or notify the um, succeeded listener, right? That's, that, that's it. I have a typo here, let's, uh, let's fix it. So let's get back to the UI implementation. Now, of course, we need to uh, uh, pass here the, the listeners. So let's create uh, a couple of new methods here. So let's say this is, uh, oh, sorry, processing uh, updated and maybe processing uh, soup. Seated. And of course, we need to create these methods and this one as well. This is the percentage. And this is the important thing since we're, th this is going to be called from a separate thread, not the initial one. Uh, so we can adjust, for example, say progress bar, the set value and percentage. Why not? Because we are we are not going to see this. Uh, the thread that in initiated all this thing is over. So the request is over already. It was handled. It's a new thread. So we need a way to inform from the server side to the client side that there are uh, changes coming. 
uh, that should, should be uh, shown in the UI. And that's done by using um, push, for example. And you enable it using this annotation. But not only that, uh, since you are running from a separate thread, you need to use the access method. The access method is in the uh, UI uh, class. And this accepts a runnable. So here we can call whatever we want that modifies the UI and we are going to see the changes. If we don't do this, we won't see any changes happening in the client side. Same for uh, processing succeed. So again, access accepts a runnable. But here we want to do two things. So first, uh, the progress bar shouldn't be visible anymore. And uh, also let's show a uh, defecation. Something like done would do. And uh, I think that's about it. So let's compile this and try the, the application. Try to upload any file, for example, this photo here. Okay, it's not, it's not showing anything. Let's see what happened. Probably I forgot to set the progress bar, set visible, true, right? Try again. Now there is some uh, some things going on. It's pretty slow, but let, let's see if this shows a notification at the at the end. Okay, and it's done. So it worked. Hope uh, that helps you in the future. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.